Hello everybody. I uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. It's been a few weeks since I posted a video and uh, so I thought I'd touch base with y'all on uh, what's going on with my continuing car problems. Uh, I still do not have my Jeep back. Uh, they've run into uh, multiple complications in uh, getting this thing just to run without overheating. So uh, in a later video when I feel like I can articulate it and all the smoke's cleared and uh, my car's up and running, uh, maybe I'll put a more comprehensive video together on uh, what all went on with that. Um, I spent four weeks in an RV park, basically in the, the front section of the park, which was a parking spot. And uh, even though I got to stay there for free, it was uh, extremely noisy near the road with a garage next door that got their deliveries between two and three in the morning. Wasn't sleeping well. Uh, of course, uh, it was stressful just uh, waiting for my car to get fixed and uh, hoping to get on the road week after week. And it just didn't pan out that way. So uh, anyway, I now am presently on public land again. The reason for that is, is uh, I've one of the mechanics that looked at my car early on at Cords, he kind of became a friend of mine and uh, he decided to lend me his truck. I uh, recently got another vehicle so he wasn't using it anyway and uh, it allowed me to get back out of town since it had a hitch on the back of it. So presently I'm in uh, on public land again uh, outside of Ajo, maybe six, seven miles and uh, back to peace and quiet and having nature around me. So it's really nice. This is a sweet campground. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, pretty intense weather though the last two, three weeks. Like long periods of rain about two weeks ago. Uh, that also kept me from really being able to upload a video because uh, I wasn't able to put panels out on the ground there. Uh, because I was essentially um, stealth camping there and so I spent a lot of time in the trailer with the door closed uh, in order not to draw attention to myself unless of course I was out walking around town uh, and that got kind of old after about two or three re weeks I uh, pretty much played itself out as what I could find something interesting to do so uh, needless to say uh, my nerves were starting to uh, get pretty raw being in that noisy spot and uh, on top of just, I guess, the basic stress of uh, having car problems and not knowing really when the end is in sight and how much it's going to end up costing, that sort of thing. Um, I'm doing really well right now. Uh, I just wanted to touch base and let you know where I'm at. Uh, I guess for now, I'll just give you a little walk around of the campground I'm in. It's really sweet. Uh, presently, the sun's out, uh, the clouds are building. It's one of those chilly days down here, you know, in the 50s. Uh, still very nice. There's no, not much wind yet. Uh, but last night it rained for probably eight hours, and uh, it was well over a half inch of rain. So we get a lot of waves of that kind of rain, which is really nice out here because uh, every day with uh, the, these things happen, things get greener and greener out here. Uh, the grass is starting to come in all the little low-lying plants that will produce flowers uh, probably within a couple of weeks are starting to come up. So it's just absolutely beautiful out here. Um, I, I love the desert, love being around this stuff. So uh, let's take a look at this camp I'm in. You can see I have my uh, shower tent up. I haven't really had a need to use this because I've had to make trips into town uh, every three four days and uh, I do have access to a hot shower down there at the uh, RV park still these are handy though I uh, got the stuff I had in there one of their little storage units out of there and brought it out here and so I popped this tent up and uh, it's stuff you can't fit in uh, the vehicle you have uh, keeps it out of the rain, keeps things nice and dry. So it's kind of makeshift uh, little storage unit. It's been working well that way. Um, you can see I have, uh, well, two sets of panels up there. And uh, that's a total of 240 watts. Um, it's helped me catch up 
Usually this is in the back of my Jeep uh, and it gives me more space uh, when I'm living out of the trailer, uh, when I'm actually camping. And uh, along with that 1500 watt Blue Eddy, uh, that's the first one I ever bought like four years ago. Slowly I've added, uh, augmented uh, more power and more of these other batteries. But uh, usually when that's in the back of my car, I have uh, more space in here. I don't like it too cluttered. Yeah, it's just nice, but uh, you know in this situation when I you lose your car It's nice to know I can actually shift things around and get by without a vehicle for uh, long periods of time and uh, Continue to live out of this the trailer here Got this other 120 watt panel out here, and this is for my uh, little cheapo power ad uh, It's like 300 watt hours that one I just used to power my heat and uh, it could go a good five days if I'm only using it well five to seven days if I'm only using it two hours in the morning and two hours at night so uh, sometimes when it's really cold I'm running it uh, solid six seven hours uh, in the morning still and a few hours at night and it might take a couple bars off on it so uh, I'm just topping that thing off today um, in the background, you can see this pickup truck that uh, was lent to me. It's a nice little pickup truck. It's rear-wheel rear drive. It got me out here. It's not something uh, I could use regularly, I think, to pull my tra trailer uh, down a lot of roads. But uh, really nice to have that. That was a gift. It, it allowed me to get back on public land and not feel so trapped in town while I'm continuing to wait to get my car back, which may be as soon as uh, two or three days. So. Uh, Here's the rest of the campground, the uh, fire pit, it's nice, um, I actually was in this campground last year, it's one of my earliest videos and I, I did a little walk around of it uh, because uh, they do these little gardens, you know, people stack rocks up around them. The, all the colorful uh, rocks that were around it and the shells are all gone though, it looks like someone took them away. Um, it's, uh, Sweet campground. I felt lucky to get it on a Saturday. I, I drove the pickup out here and scouted out a few campgrounds and uh, I felt really lucky to get this one because again, it's at the end of kind of a fairly long driveway, you know, several hundred yards long before it meets the other uh, one of the dirt roads, which is not particularly that busy, but it's always nice to have this kind of campground. Um, really beautiful rocks in the background. You can see the Ocotillo is starting to uh, leaf out more heavily. You know spring's on its way when you start seeing this sort of thing. And these do produce flowers. They're probably a month off before they uh, start producing the buds. And Surrounded by the saguaro, close enough to uh, Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument where there's Oregon Pipe out here really nice variety of cactus out here in plant life so really loving this campground I've got peace and quiet again you know the occasional truck comes by or something but it's not a big deal and uh, you don't see a lot of uh, side-by-sides or uh, motorcycles out here I've been out here three times and uh, different years and uh, that seems to be the case uh, maybe it's far enough from the big towns and cities that uh, they don't go this far out of their way to bring in a lot of those kind of uh, off-road vehicles so really loving this uh, it's early february i'm hoping i can uh, th i think the best chance yet is this week i get my car back and i will have some freedom of movement and start be able to uh, move around uh, arizona a little bit more and uh, maybe some other states before uh, spring is in full bloom. Um, I should be putting some stuff together uh, and producing uh, videos a little more regularly, you know, not waiting three weeks. I uh, we had a rough stretch there and uh, for mul multiple reasons. I was having difficulty uh, producing a video that uh, I liked, even myself a little bit, and uh, along with uh, just the stress of what I was going through and uh, lack of power. Um, I guess I'll finish the video off here and uh, thank you all once again for uh, subscribing and uh, hanging with me while uh, I am uh, not putting up videos for weeks at a time. 
Um, I should get a chance to move around a little bit more soon, so uh, things are looking up. And uh, again, thanks for watching my videos. If you've uh, hung in there this long for this one, and uh, take good care. Bye-bye. <laughs>